The Panaszczuk name originated from Poland. Uh, my parents both came here when they were both 18. They actually met here when they were 18. I think it was at a wedding, like a... Yeah, it was yeah, both their best friend's wedding. So my dad was actually watching the videotape after the wedding and my mom was on the video and then my dad told my uncle, you know, oh, pause it, pause it, pause it. Who is that, who is that, who is that? And that's kind of how it all started. You know, I came out first then Jacob came into the picture and then we have a third brother, Patrick. So, you know, it was kind of cool when how they came over to the States and, you know, tried having that American, you know, family dream and we've been kind of living it. So it's been pretty cool. In the summer every year, we visit Poland when we were little a lot, so I just think going there every summer really played a big role on like how we, how they raised us and how we grew up when we were little. Yeah, and if you think about it, I mean, I used to go every two months when I was younger. I would just go there for two months, my summer vacation just spent there. So if you think about it, you know, I think I counted like a year and a half of my life I've been living in Poland with my you know, family that lives over there, which is pretty cool. I think we kind of learned Polish first just because we were always at home, but then, you know, our parents kind of just put us put us in the school, you know, English school. We kind of learn over time how to speak English, so. So like when we would go to Poland for like the summer sometimes, we'd come back and like we'd forget how to say like simple words. Like I remember one time one of my friends came over and I forgot how to say grandpa. I was like, oh, we're going to my grandpa's house, but I didn't know how to say it, so I just like, tried to figure out a way how to tell them. It was, it was really funny, but it's, it's unique just getting both sides of it. Being able to speak a different language is also another cool thing, because you know, me and him can be talking, we can be talking you know, some smack about you, or you know, talking something good, or you know, what we're gonna eat later, or something like that. So I mean, it's always pretty cool, just like we do it on the field. So I mean, it's pretty cool being Polish and you know, being from a little a little different than, I guess, majority of the people. Yeah, I think just the whole aspect of being able to speak Polish is, is like the big part of it, just being able to like talk to my parents in Polish and just mic in Polish whenever I want. It just, it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, I started playing when I was in third grade. Well, we both started playing when we were so he was in third grade, I was in, I was in grade. fourth grade, but I was a little too heavy. So I stopped playing because I would have to run in like a sweatsuit. The coach would make me run in like a sweatsuit because I had to like lose weight. And he was just naturally bigger, so he just played with the upper class. We actually played with like kids that were like two years older than us. So he was fat too. Growing up, we like hated each other. Like we did not like each other. Not at all. Bit. There was blood. Oh, there was, yeah. So like once, once my freshman year hit, I like contemplated not wanting to play football anymore and he kept on playing and then I just stuck stuck with it and then my sophomore year came and then we just became like best friends. Like that bond like finally clicked. Like I know a lot of people say like eventually you'll like realize later on that like how much how much like he means to you and I was like yeah I know but I didn't like believe it and then my sophomore year finally hit me and like we just became best friends, did everything together, had the same friends and just overall just built like a really strong bond in high school. And I feel like football definitely helped with that because I mean I mean, you can think of it, if we didn't have football, we could potentially still be, you know, beating the hell out of each other. So I really think football did, because we had a connection, we were able to talk about a lot of things. Everyone calls each other their brother, you know, in the locker room, but actually being blood related to someone just means so much more, and you're able to connect with that person so much more, because they, you know, they're from the same background as you, they go through the same things as you, they know so much about you, so you can always go to that person, talk to that person, and you know, have that connection. Field play action, Barrett pressure on him, and he is taken down. I wanted him to come because it'd be cool, you know, if he got the opportunity to come to the same school as me, you know, I would, I would always want, you know, having someone from back at home with me from such a far distance like Michigan State from to Illinois, but I didn't think he was gonna come. He surprised me when he committed, it was crazy. When I was like my freshman year, like I said, like. I hated him still, and I told myself when he got his first offer, if I ever get a scholarship, I'm gonna go to the opposite side of the United States of him. I like thought I was just gonna go to the complete opposite way of him. Yeah, then my sophomore year came, and then I was like, okay, like this would be easier on our family, easier on my parents. And then when Michigan State offered me, like 
I knew right away that I was probably gonna go there from from what he was telling me, like all the all the stuff about this school and just in general, and my parents really wanted me to follow him. It was crazy, you know, it kind of I had that one year off of from not playing with him and it kind of made me realize how much cooler it was looking down the line and you know being able to see your brother or someone who you can talk to in a different language to try to confuse the O-line, you know, the offense. So it was it was pretty cool seeing him down the line and what we were able to do and accomplish out on that field. Well, the communication can be with them. They can speak Polish. Uh, number one, but as far as the involving them, you you know you, you know their brothers, but uh, he treats them like a teammate. Uh, uh, I think the effect of other kids, you know, the Bullers being here, uh, the Dowels, I think they're a big part of the calming effect because we've also dealt with you know siblings, and uh, I think it's a pleasure and, and it is special to be able to have guys like that, Jacob and Mike, uh, be on the team, and specifically side by side. And that's been a pleasure too, seeing them play and make plays together. The best part about it was like the first big play I made was against Western Michigan. It was like a TFL for like nine yards and I get up and I start running the sideline. The first person that's right there, like congratulating me on my first big play is him. And it's just, that feeling is just, you can't explain it, it's just amazing. When your colleague you All-American Darwin Thompson in at running back, but there's a lot of pressure on Jordan Love. Hit as he throws, it's picked off. Yeah, that all started because of the tackle defensive end twist and Jacob Ponishuk. So my thought process was they were running a fast offense and I was tired and I was just breathing heavy and he looks at me and he goes, Duja, Duja. And that means big, big, that means he's going first and it's one of our plays. And he just calls it and I just look at him and I was like, that is not the play that was called right now. Like, I'm not running that. We haven't done that yet all like last season. He just looks at me, he goes, run it. And I was like, okay. And we just ran the play and it turned out being, being a huge play that led to a pick. Yeah, no, I mean, having that confidence, you know, luckily for me, he has that confidence in me, you know, as an older brother that, you know, if I'm gonna say something, then, you know, I probably should do it or else, you know, he's gonna get the consequence later. <laughs> but now that you told them, our secret words, now people are gonna words. know. We now we gotta change words. it up a yeah, little we, bit. We got different words we could use. For the tie, no good, blocked. Mike Ponishuk looks like he might have got it. We just all feel like family around here and especially having people that are on the team that actually are blood related to you just makes everyone else just so much closer. Me and him play for, like, when we go out, it's like playing for each other. That's how Byron, Riley, and Max were. They just know that, like, even if they're gone, like, Byron still is, like, playing with that name on his back, like, his last name, he's playing for them. If you're not playing, like, that brother bond that we have on our team, how we call each other brothers, it's like, you're actually playing for your brothers or your family, like, you're representing your last name. You know, for a majority of the people that, you know, gone through Michigan State and all the families and stuff like that, you know, everyone hardworking, you know, always doing the right thing. And that's why Coach D always emphasizes, you know, it's the people about Michigan State that make it great. I mean, I call my mom every single day. I'm always grateful for her and my dad and everything that they have done for us, you know, sacrificed for us. I mean, there's, there's a lot of stories that, you know, how, like, how they came over here and stuff like that and all that good stuff. And everything that they sacrificed for us, it's just, it just blows my mind away because I don't even know if I would have been able to do that, especially not even knowing the language that's spoken there. Because when they came here, they didn't even know a single bit of English. So that's just, it's just scary for me. So I'm always grateful for them every single day. If they didn't make that leap and like take that risk of coming here and trying to find a job out here, then like we wouldn't even be alive. They would have never met. And just in general, them taking like the steps that they did to come here just made our lives a lot easier with them taking that risk, but just we're grateful for them every single day.